What's up, guys? Charlie NASCAR here. Just got done watching the race in Talladega. I want to first give a tip of the cap to Caleb. His last name begins with an R. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I will butcher it. So, Caleb, since you're the only Caleb that I have written down here, you know who you are. Didn't hit the pick for exactly, but you did pick Ricky Stenhouse Jr. to win. You're the only one who picked him to win. Other people did have him finishing third or fourth place. I didn't think there was a chance either. I thought he was going to be gone with the win. I, I figured maybe, you know, if he was lucky to lead the second lap, you know, I thought Junior was going to take over and all this other stuff that didn't transpire. So, you know, hey, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., congratulations to you, brother. You know, maybe you can go ahead and put Danica back in the kitchen. Just saying. You know, because you're clearly only in a couple that knows how to win a race or be competitive. You know, so if you have kids, hopefully they'll have your genes and not hers or his or whatever he or she is. Who knows nowadays? But man, that, that was a, not a bad race. The stages, I just still don't think work in restricted plate racing. I think kind of ruins the flow. And you can't really have people on all different types of agenda doing on restricted plate races. It really doesn't work. I think maybe for some races, they just need to get rid of it entirely. I don't like it, period. But if they're going to want to have it, I think they got to get rid of at least your stretcher plates. At least get off plate racing. Congratulations to Jack Rouse. It has been 101 races since you, you won a, had a guy run a race. Last guy to do it was Carl Edwards back in 2014. And now he's retired. So, you know, there you go. So, I mean, it was it was a good race all in all. And I don't know what it is with some people on Twitter. There's people that root for injuries and stuff, even if you don't like the guy. Just shut the fuck up. I mean, really. You shouldn't root for people to get hurt. You know, we all know wrecks are going to happen in restricted plate races. I was not happy about, you know, Chase Elliott getting wrecked by A.J. Allmendinger. But when his car was upside down, I was genuinely worried. I was like, man, I hope the guy's all right. You know. So, that's my thoughts on that. Other than that, you know, on all good race, you know, hey, NASCAR's doing, the races are getting better. I will say this, I don't think it has anything to do. Oh, and another thing, I just want to correct the announcers in the crowd about it all. They're saying, oh, wow, the, the fans are packed. Stage races work. No, the stage racing is not bringing the people to the track. It's Talladega and Dale Jr.'s in his last season. That's why that track was filled up. Make no mistake about it. It was all because of Dale Jr. being in his last season is why it was filled up. The only reason why Talladega was sold out and packed like it was. A lot of these tracks are going to be packed to see Dale Jr. for the last for his last season. That's the only reason for South. Stage racing is not helping out. And these long-ass commercial breaks need to fucking stop. You know, if you need to have ads, like I've said in many other videos, go ahead and put an ad banner at the bottom. Now that side-by-side is a picture for the side-by-side. -side, you can hardly see what's going on in the race anyway. Just put an ad banner, all right? Well, anyway, guys, that's all I got to say. Man, Ricky Stenhouse, hey, that was a hell of a race, brother. You know, hey, good for you. Ford is kicking some butt. And by the way, fuck BK Racing. Fucking annoying. They're just annoying to have around. And oh, fuck Toyota. See you all next time.